Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you guys how I achieved this cute bun and swoop. I like to do this style on dirty hair when I have somewhere to go, when I need to look cute, but my hair is dirty, greasy, and just not cooperating. This style is um, very good if you're in a rush to because you can do it in about 10 to 15 minutes. So to get started, I am just going through and lightly detangling my hair with a wide tooth comb. Then I'm going to part out my little um, bang or side swoop um, area. You can do, I chose to do a side swoop, but I've also done this style with a bang um, like a side bang or I've also done it with like two pieces in the front. It's pretty versatile, whatever you feel like doing. I kind of positioned my little um, portion of hair over to the side just a little bit. It's slightly off center because I'm doing um, a side swept bang. So I'm just going to section that out and also try to take out any of um, my baby hairs or sideburns or you know whatever and then I'm gonna just get an idea of where I'm going to have everything positioned that way when I start to put everything together it's just gonna come together okay so next I'm going to lightly moisturize my hair with the design essentials almond and avocado leave-in conditioner my hair is pretty oily already but I just want to make sure like the sensitive areas like my edges my nape and my ends are properly moisturized because we're gonna have this up in a um with using a small elastic now i'm going in with my edge control the one that i like to use is the cream of nature argan oil one you can use whatever you want to use i have stopped using like really harsh um harsh gels and harsh holding hairsprays but i do like this one because it has a decent hold and it lasts pretty much all day i wore this style one time to a nightclub at night and i slept in it overnight the next day the style was still intact and i didn't have to do anything to it using this edge control and no like holding spray or anything like that so if you're looking for an edge control um and you don't want to use something that's really harsh then i would give this one a try and it smells really good um if you have tried other cream of nature argan oil products it has a similar smell and i like that smell and you can smell it uh, throughout the day on your hair so um, i'm just kind of spreading that edge control out using my hard brush to just um get everything into place and make sure everything is smooth and just how i want it to be i am relaxed if you are new to my channel i am relaxed and i wear my hair flat ironed 99.99 percent of the time so it's kind of easy for me to just get my hair up into this type of style but if you are natural or you're working on a different texture of hair that's not flat iron then you might have to spend a little bit more time on this feel free to hot comb your edges or do whatever you want to do but i didn't really want to do all that okay um I, I didn't want to do all that. I felt like this was good enough how I was doing it. And that's why I didn't do it. But, you know, if you're trying to go for the extra sleek, extra professional type of look, then, yeah, maybe you do want to hot comb your hair and do all that. But, yes, I am getting ready to... I thought I was getting ready to put my hair into a ponytail. I guess not. I, I guess I'm still making sure that everything is in place. My hair is about a week old at this point. So it did need a little bit of extra TLC with making sure, uh, you know, that new growth and those baby hairs and stuff was laying down. Because like I said, we are. I'm not going in with a hot comb or anything like that um, on my edges to get them like super straight. 
So yeah, we just slicking this up into a ponytail and to actually secure my hair into a ponytail, I am going to use one of those little like small elastic black hair tie things. If you don't like those, you don't have to use that. You could use a scrunchie, but or something um you know, not so harsh, but um, I like these for when I'm trying to get like a super tight ponytail. I don't do my hair in tight ponytails very often. So, you know, every once in a while, I think it's fine. So yeah, I've got my hair up and um, I'm about to put my hair into a bun. Now, disclaimer with this bun, you guys are going to see me fumbling around with this bun. Um, quite a bit maybe not right now but I end up redoing the bun towards the end of the video and it is because I did the bun a little bit too loose well not a little bit too loose I did it way too loose see how like when I'm putting the thing on like I didn't wrap it back around I just put it on one time and then I do go back in and put another one on top of it but I'm gonna show you guys towards the end of the video the right way to do it so that it does not come out now if you have super super thick hair and you know you can get away with just putting it on one time or if you want to use bobby pins and only secure it one time without doing it so tight then you can do that but i didn't feel like looking for my bobby pins and my hair was not super thick um i mean it's thick but it's not like it's not like that to where it can be how i did it so anyways towards the end of the video i'll show you guys the proper way how I had to secure it to get it to where it would not look spacey like that and to where it would not just fall down and look crazy and embarrass me okay so now I'm going in and just you know getting those baby hairs into place we are not doing a lot because I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really working with a lot in the baby hair department. So I'm just swooping around what I do have, which, you know, I have enough. I'm just, we're just not doing the adult baby hairs today. Let me just say that. We're just doing little, small uh, baby hairs to just kind of frame my face. And then I'm going to do my sideburns. And that's all I'm going to do. I do not like using those little hair toothbrushes for my baby hairs. I don't know why. They just don't work for me. So the same brush that I slick my hair up into this ponytail with is the same brush that I like to use for my baby hairs because that just works best for me. All right. So after that, I, I believe I'm going to put some more edge control on and just look in the mirror and make sure it look good, you know, because for me, I like to do my baby hairs right before I put my scarf on because once you put the scarf on, it's going to set pretty much. So I'm going to tie my scarf on and I was kind of rushing. I only let this sit for like five minutes, but if you have the time, I would do like 10 to 15 minutes okay so here we go we taking the scarf off and here is where i'm going to in a minute i'm going to perfect the bun and show y'all the right way how to do it and i'm also going to get this little swoop in the front together i also had to play with this a few times to get this exactly how i wanted this was I have done this style more than once, but um, this was my second time doing this style this time around that I've been relaxed. I was relaxed. Well, I mean, I've been relaxed for a minute, but before I grew my hair back out, I um, did this style like a while ago. Like, um, actually, I might have been natural when I did. It. I don't know. I've done this style more than once, but because it's been a few months since I done it, I kind of forgot how I did it. So that's why I had to like kind of play with it a little bit. And I wanted to show you guys exactly, you know, me playing with it and my trial and error so that when y'all do it, y'all don't have to do the same trial and error that I did. So basically with this bang, I am curling it. And at first I split it up into two sections to curl it. 
you guys are gonna see i'm gonna go back and fix it because it just wasn't it just wasn't doing what i wanted it to do you know like see i put it behind my ear but it wasn't looking it wasn't swooping like i wanted it to swoop okay i mean it was cute it had a little curl at the end it was doing something but it just wasn't doing enough okay so we're gonna come back to that First, we're going to fix this bun that because y'all couldn't see, but it has started to fall apart. So we're going to fix this bun. This is the right way how you really want to do it. Now, really with buns, there's no right and wrong way to do it. It's probably going to look different every time you do it. But what you want to make sure you do is tie the elastic on tight enough to where the the hair is like in place because my hair is straight it'll slip out if i don't do it tight enough so if you concerned about your hair being in the elastic it being too tight whatever whatever this probably is not the style for you because you're gonna have to do it tight and you're gonna have to tie it around in order for it to stay and look right because i'm not going for a messy bun i'm going for a sleek bun okay so to get back into this swoop what i'm doing is kind of get in the front because my hair was a little bit frizzy i told y'all i'm working with old hair so i kind of went back made sure that front was sleek and then i'm gonna go back and i'm going to divide this little bang piece into more sections so that i can just get some more volume and get this swoop like curled how i want it to be so that when i comb it around it's got a little bit more of a wave to it so basically what i'm trying to do is start at the base or the root of my hair and go up and around and create like a little bit of volume and roundness so that when i like i said combing around it's actually got that curve to it and look more like a swoop next my hair was a little bit dry it was it was oily but dry at the same time i don't know if that makes any sense you have to kind of feel it and be there to get what i'm talking about so anyways i sprayed some oil sheen on it to just give it a little bit more shine and make it look less like ashy and crunchy and i was happy with that and that kind of did what it needed to do then i'm just gonna spray the oil sheen around spray the oil sheen on my bun to help with those flyaways and then i am just going to take my tail comb and kind of just make sure everything is in place and exactly how I want it to be and y'all I got so many compliments on this style um I took my kids out for a little bit everybody was telling me how cute my hair was how pretty I looked and I really loved it it's one of those simple styles that you could do like going out at night like I said I wore this out to the club one night um I wore this today, just running errands with my kids. It's just a very versatile style that I think we all need, like kind of one of those hairstyles to go to when our hair is dirty and needs something to just do really quick. Let me know how y'all enjoyed this video and if you will be trying this style. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.